what's going on YouTube um, this is Paige aka honey I uh, just wanted to come through real quick give you a quick update on uh, what's going on up here so um, I just posted a new blog post earlier today about how I'm going on um, my five months here and I'm really excited about this five months because like thinking like back in January I couldn't see myself five months later and I was like oh what are they gonna look like what's it gonna be like well let me just say that I'm really happy with how things are going with my hair I'm really excited about this journey as I have been since I started um, now not to say that it's been an easy five months because there really were some days where I just really 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 wanted to comb out my locks and I was like okay I haven't been doing this very long um, I could probably still comb out my locks now but I'm, I'm so glad that I didn't give in, and you know, that's a lot of what I wanted to learn from, from this journey, uh, was patience. I'm a super duper impatient person, like, I hate waiting on anything, I, I'm just really impatient. Um, I want what I want, and I want it now. And that's really selfish of me as a person, especially because I feel like God is so patient with me each and every day, um, and I don't take well, I don't do it enough. I don't take enough time out to wait on him. And then it makes me think like when I'm impatient with myself and when I'm impatient with others, how does that reflect me? Like, how does that reflect how who I am to others? Like, I here I am serving a God who's patient with me, who's patient with you, who's patient with all of us, you know? No, many, no matter how many times we um, mess up, no matter how many times we give him reasons to just be angry with us and he's not so that's really something that i want to grow with as a person is, is being patient learning to wait on god learning to wait on others um, so like i said in the beginning when i first started that why not relive that through my hair? okay so back to my hair um they're starting to get hard which is really cool um a lot of them a lot of them are starting to round off at the end which I'm really excited about because I didn't think that, that would happen this soon because my hair texture is really really soft I didn't know how soft my hair texture was until I started this lock journey I literally had no idea I was just always like I got really coarse hair my hair is gonna lock so fast yeah blah 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 yeah I know I lock to myself um so on another note I made myself some homemade sea salt spray. Um, so I posted my blog about that today on my blog, which is actually honey with two lines, um, dot wordpress.com. Um, and I basically just used a cup of water. I boiled it. Well, I didn't actually boil it in my water. I just used it for like two minutes. I don't think it actually used to boil it. But um, hot water, I dissolve three tablespoons of sea salt in that. I use a drizzle of honey, which everybody knows that I love honey. Honey is a superfood. It's amazing for literally everything. Um, so that's a really nice hair growth aid. And also adds a little sweetness and helps to hide the smell of the sea salt to my hair. So I love that. But um, And then I used a few drops of olive oil and a few drops of vitamin E, which vitamin E is good for strengthening your hair. So, um, mix it all up, mix it all up in a, a spray bottle, and I sprayed it on my hair. Um, so far, like every other day this week, and I've already noticed that my locks feel hard. I haven't um, had a lot of itching yet, but I do know that the sea salt's gonna dry my hair out, which is why I added the oil. Um, I didn't use any of the lemon juice, which I know a lot of people use lemon juice in their sea salt spray, but I didn't have any, and I wasn't about to go get some just because. Um, when I go to the store the next time, I feel like I need to buy you so it's just, but I just didn't do that. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. Um, so I did that, you know, and they feel hard, like, and I like that because that's one thing that I've been struggling with is the feel of my lock and getting it to feel hard and have, like, a solid feel to it because my hair is so soft. Um, so, you know, this is two weeks now since my retwist, but they still... Oh no, you see my lock. Really? Yeah. If 
about some of this, I just felt like I needed to jazz them up a little bit. I wanted to be able to express myself about it. So, so then, like, I can definitely tell when I wash that they're growing. I love how much my hair is down when it's wet. Um, but, you know, I have ridiculous shrinkage, so I expect it to be for my dreads to shrink at least 85%. But I'm okay with that. Um, I'm really excited about watching them grow and actually showing them. Like, but I realize that that's going to take some time. But I think that after I hit like a year, then um, my hair will start to fall down. Get down here. This time next year, I imagine it will be back. Because my hair actually really goes uh, really, really fast. So I'm excited about that. Um, so yeah, so all the other products are pretty much the same, just adding the sea salt spray, I'm going to see how that goes, compare my hair um, and the buds in maybe two months or so, and see how much progress I get, so yay, I'm excited, um, but as always, you know, subscribe to my channel, um, leave me comments, uh, thoughts, um, suggestions, products that you like and stuff, you know, I'm still learning, this is new to me, um, I, I really have a passion for natural hair, um, but it's different for me because my hair's not loose, so, you know, I'm still learning about this, I'm, I'm a rookie, and I'm also self-maintaining my own locks, so, anything that anybody wants to throw out there for me, I am willing to receive, so, um, comments, suggestions, anything, you're welcome. Uh, but check out my blog, head over there, go see that, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, but that's all, I'm gonna catch y'all later.